close though. It's not that far. It's definitely clumpy. Why are you clumpy? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be mixing all my foundations together. So I have my cup and I have all my foundations right here off to the side. I have 21 foundations. Hydrating, matte, BB creams, high end, low end, 21 foundations. We're going to mix them together and put them on my face. I want to apologize for the shadow. So I just got this new backdrop and not really working well with my lights. So I'm going to try to figure out my lighting situation here. This is what it is for right now. Yeah, I wanted to get a new backdrop and I wanted it to be white because I thought it would go good against when I do makeup videos. I am going to get a couple of different backdrops to a couple of different styles and all that. But I got to figure out my lighting situation so the shadow doesn't happen. <laughs> but that's what it is for now. So that's what we're going to deal with. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to change the camera angle so you guys can see me mixing all my foundations together. And I got a clear glass so that you guys can actually see, you know, clearly. Alright, here we go. We're going to start with Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Next we're going to do MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Next, we're going to do Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. Next, we're going to do L'Oreal True Match. Then we're going to do a second L'Oreal True Match in a lighter shade. Next, we're going to do Maybelline Dream Velvet. We're going to do another Maybelline Dream Velvet in a different shade. We're going to do Milani Conceal and Perfect. We're going to do again Milani Conceal and Perfect in a different shade. We're going to do Revlon Airbrush Effect Photo Ready Foundation. We're going to do Rimmel BB Cream. We're going to do Maybelline Dream BB Pure Cream. We're going to do another Maybelline BB Cream. We're going to do Tarte Tarte Guard Tinted Moisturizer. We're going to do Revlon Color Stay Makeup Foundation. And then I have six Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundations in six different shades. So now we're going to mix this together. It's a little clumpy. <laughs> oh Lord. Do you see the clumps? Slightly clumpy. Color is not too bad. It's a little pink almost. 
definitely a skin tone. Just don't know if it's mine. Okay, so I'm gonna prep my face like I normally would. Some of this on the back of my hand. Gosh, it's so clumpy. Clumpy. Using a clean beauty blender. So that way it's true. Why is it clumpy? Here we go. The color isn't that bad, actually. I mean, it's a little dark, but like, it's nothing I can't work with. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> the heck? Let's do my neck. Yeah, it's definitely. I think it's like a pink undertone, which really isn't that great for me, my skin type. But like, look at that. I mean, it's giving me good coverage. <laughs> I have breakouts right there. So let's see if it's gonna cover those. Covered them. Not bad. Honestly, so this is like a really good coverage. It feels very like almost greasy. It looks very shiny, as you can see. I think it's mostly because I have more um, hydrate in foundations than I do matte foundations, which makes no sense because I have oily skin, so I should have more matte foundations. But I have more hydrate in ones because you know I didn't know a lot about makeup beforehand. But yeah, like I'm. This is great for somebody who wants dewy makeup, but for somebody who has oily skin, not that great. I don't know where the chunks go. Like, the chunks are on, like, you can see that. That's chunky. But when I pick it up and put it on my beauty blender, like, it's not there. Where do the chunks go? It feels heavy, for sure, <laughs> on my face. Like, I feel like I have a lot of makeup on. <laughs> but for coverage... Not bad. Definitely tell I have makeup on. I can definitely feel that I have makeup on. For sure. Alright, so let's put on my concealer. Scrape the rest of this off. Back into this cup. Alright, so I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral. Use my Real Techniques cheek brush to blend all that out. It feels so heavy. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. We'll be back in. All right, we are back. I am done with my makeup. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Like, it looks okay, honestly. Like, look. I mean. So I'm going to leave this on for the rest of the day. Right now, it's. 12.44, so I'll probably leave it on for probably like 4 or 5 hours, and then I'll check back in with you guys so you can see how it looks. So it's been about 2 hours. My dog is barking. Sir, trying to film a video here. Um, the only thing that I did different was that I added some freckles in, and then I just took my beauty blender and I just patted my face to kind of just blend them. Don't know how I feel about these freckles yet, but, um, 
like I said, it's been about two hours and doesn't look terrible. I don't look really too oily or too cakey or anything. My under eye, my eyes are watering when I was putting my eye drops in, so my mascara kind of ran a little bit, but that's why it's like black under my eye. <laughs> Just so you know. I'll probably do an update in another two hours, because then probably when I, because I'm about to go to the store right now, so probably when I come back from the store, I'm going to do an update and then take a shower and take this off because I'm running over it. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in about two hours. Okay, we are back. It's officially been 6.09 right now. So it's been, what, five hours? It's 12.44. I'm like five and a half hours. Something like that. It's been five hours. So I went to the store and then we went out to eat. From this distance, <laughs> it looks fine. You know, I'm a little oily like I normally am after wearing makeup for five, six hours. Um, it doesn't feel good at all. It feels cakey. It feels heavy. And I cannot wait to take it off. <laughs> So I'm going to give you a zoom in and I'm taking a shower because I want this to be done. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like up close. So I'm super greasy. All on my nose, my forehead. I mean, I did put a lot of highlight on today, so that could be why. But like my nose is super greasy. My chin is super greasy. In between my eyebrows are greasy. And you can definitely see like... <laughs> it's a cute face. <laughs> It's like cakey on oh, my lip and my nose and it's just not cute. It's not cute. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This ain't cute. Oh, don't mind um my mascara ran because I had to put like eye drops in because my contacts were dry. So um that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was my mixing all my foundations together. That's all I got for you guys. So like, subscribe, comment. Please, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.